Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And today we are in beautiful northern Michigan. And we are visiting this guy's parents. And this has been one of my best trips to Michigan because we discovered right underneath our windows chipmunks. And they have been so much fun to watch. And this is what this video is going to be all about. My parents love birds. You might think they're a little crazy because they have several bird feeders. And these bird feeders have devices to prevent squirrels and chipmunks from reaching them. But the birds eat like pigs and they drop seeds beneath the bird feeder all the time. And all day long you can see chipmunks eat the bird seeds that fell on the ground below the feeders. The guest bedroom is in the back of the house and we noticed there was this chipmunk burrow right out in front of the window. So from our window, we could watch its whereabouts all day. One thing we learned is that chipmunks don't live in colonies and only one chipmunk lives in each burrow. Yeah, so the chipmunk we watched should have been the same one the whole time. So we decided to run a few experiments and our first experiment was to drop some bird seeds in front of its burrow and watch it eat the seeds. Well, actually it wasn't really eating them. It was kind of storing them in its cheeks to put them in its burrow later. Yeah, and as it was chewing them, you could see the cheeks get bigger <laughs> and bigger and bigger. It was funny. When we didn't feed it seeds, it was foraging in the woods searching for food. Yeah, chipmunks are very active in the summer because they're preparing for the long winter in northern Michigan and they want to store some food in their burrows. All day long, it gets out of the hole with an empty mouth and comes back a few minutes later with a full mouth. And it goes in and out and in and out all day long and they're just so funny to watch. And their burrows are very complex. They have many chambers to store food for the winter. They can be up to 20 feet long and go as deep as three feet. It drives his dad crazy to have all these chipmunks burrowing next to his house. But sometimes it runs into a predator or maybe a squirrel in the woods and it gets afraid and it rushes back into its burrow. And once it's been scared, the chipmunk took forever to get back out. It would pop out its head and then get back in and then it could stay idle for several minutes just observing the surroundings before deciding that it was safe to venture outside. Then we decided to run another little experiment by plugging its burrow with a pine cone just to see what would happen. Yeah, and it took the chipmunk less than 10 seconds to figure <laughs> it out and just push the pine cone and get out of its hole. And then it started to sniff the cone around <laughs> for a few seconds. As soon as that was done, the chipmunk went out on its own like nothing had ever happened. And then after watching the chipmunk from our window, we decided to run a third experiment. So we decided to put our camera outside and right in front of his hole. And the chipmunk was clearly very intimidated by the camera and it looked at it for several minutes before going out. He clearly knew someone was messing with him. But eventually the attraction of the seeds in front of the burrow was stronger than the fear of the camera and it eventually came out of the hole. He eventually decided to explore our iPhone a little bit closer and he knocked it over. Yeah, we hadn't planned on filming anything because we were just visiting his parents. So we didn't have any tripod with us or mm -hmm. anything. So we had to set the phone on a pine cone <laughs> just to get the right angle. And the squirrel just came and got on the pine cone and just knocked over the phone. It was good camouflage though. But we quickly put the iPhone back up. And then once the chipmunk got used to it, uh, we were able to get great close-up shots.
So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we are going to put a link right here. If you want to get notifications about our latest videos, be sure to click the bell. And if you want to watch our next video, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye.